New patch was released today for Red Dead Online on all the platforms. And you know what, when I saw it, my initial thought was, oh no, Rockstar is definitely gonna fix that breach, because it's too fun for Red Dead Online. But no, this time they've actually fixed some real problems, some big problems, a lot of players were suffering from this. And yeah, I checked, breach is still working, you still can make these crazy jumps. Anyway, it's a patch 1.26, it's pretty small for PC and for players. PlayStation. On a PC I had to download only 260 megabytes, but on Xbox it was much bigger, almost 3 gigabytes, and here is why. Explanation from Ben, also known as Widowtech. The reason why patches on Xbox are larger is due to the fact Microsoft doesn't support a feature called Delta Patching, which essentially patches the areas of the file without having to re-download the entire file. It's good to know why sometimes patches for Xbox have different and much bigger size. Anyway, this patch 1.26 fixes bugs, including such huge bug as 50% loading screen for PlayStation 5 users, and now quoting from the patch notes, link to them will be in the description. Fix it an issue where some players would get stuck at 50% during the loading screen into Red Dead Online, and by some players they probably mean most players on PlayStation 5, because yeah, with the blood money update this new problem was introduced and they haven't fixed it until today, it's been a month almost. And yeah, it's great that they finally took care of this problem, I hope it's really gonna work and help these players, but in my opinion it's unacceptable for such a big company as Rockstar to totally ignore game breaking bug for 4 weeks. It's almost like players on the consoles would not have animal spawns for like 8 months. Oh, it's already happened to Red Dead Online. Anyway, I guess later is better than never, as there are some more bug fixes in this patch. By the way, let me know in the comments if you were playing on PlayStation 5 and had this 50% problem, whether it was fixed with this patch. So they also fixed an issue where some players were losing their 25 capital setup fee if they were disconnected during the Covington Emerald opportunity on Ruthless Difficulty. I once got disconnected from this mission on a ruthless difficulty, but I was able to come back to the game and actually continue the mission without paying 25 capital again, but I guess some players had this problem. Next one, fixed an issue that could have caused players to be disconnected from the game. I mean, I hope it's gonna help, because I was disconnected from the game a lot since the blood money update, but unfortunately I think that they fixed like one issue out of many different issues. Anyway, the last one is fixed a number of crashes, and you know what, right after this patch I joined the game and played this new call to arms, and I was crushed after the patch, and by the way in this new survival mode I'm getting crushed a lot, I'm playing on a PC and I'm getting crushed in one out of four games probably, and when you're getting crushed in this call to arms mode you're losing all the progress, you're getting nothing, it's so annoying, but I still enjoy this mode so much. Anyway, I guess they fixed some other crashes. Anyway, it's good to know that Rockstar is doing something and fixing bugs. They're not doing it too fast, but doing. I mean, it's already good. By the way, have you mentioned that recently we're receiving only good news from Rockstar? It's kind of suspicious. Anyway, I gave you the most important information about this patch. Not gonna take your time anymore. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. До свидания.